In this video, we're going to learn how to set up a Python development environment on Windows using PyCharm. The first thing we'll do is a Google search for PyCharm, and then we'll click on the first link that comes up. Then on this page, we'll click on the download button at the center of the page. Then on the next page that comes up, we're going to click on the download button underneath community on the right hand side. And that should start the automatic download of the installer file that we're going to use to actually install PyCharm. And this could take a while to download, so I'll just skip ahead. So once it finishes downloading, we can go down here to click on the installer file to bring up the installer program. When we do this, it might bring up a window asking our permission to install the program at all. If so, you might have to click on yes for that. Then when the installer pops up with the first screen, you can just click on next. And then when it asks which directory you want to install PyCharm into, you can just click on next unless you want to change it. On this window, I would suggest selecting the option to create a desktop shortcut for PyCharm and the option to associate files with the .py extension with PyCharm. So that way Python files open up in PyCharm by default. And on this window, you can just click on install and then PyCharm will begin to install. And this might take a few minutes, so I'm just going to skip ahead. So once this process finishes, you can click on run Python community edition and then click on finish. This will bring up PyCharm. And because we're running it for the first time, it will ask us about importing PyCharm settings. And we can just leave the Do Not Import Settings option selected and then click on OK. Eventually, the PyCharm window will open and we can click on the plus to create a new project. Then we get this next window that allows us to create our project. We can just enter in Hello World for our project name and then go down here and click on Create. Next, the PyCharm integrated development environment will load up. But if this is our first time running PyCharm, then PyCharm might need to install Python itself. So you might have to again give permission for this installation to occur. So PyCharm is a program that allows us to edit Python files containing Python programs, run those programs to test them, view the output from those programs, and debug them. We call all of these features an integrated development environment because we get all the things we need to create Python programs in one integrated environment. But Python itself that actually executes the Python programs is a separate program from PyCharm. So that's why we need to install that now. This will take a few minutes, so again, I'll skip ahead. Eventually this will finish, and then the text editor will appear with a basic Python program inside of it. We can increase the size of the text in the text editor by finding the correct option underneath the view menu here. We could also increase the size of the font by using a keyboard shortcut, which is shift plus alt plus period. It's a good idea to get to know the keyboard shortcuts when using a tool like PyCharm. Next, we can click on this green play button here in the top right to execute this sample Python program that we're given. And we'll see the output from that program in this bottom window here. Let's replace this Python program with a simpler Python program that will just output the text Hello World. We'll have print, open bracket, and then in quotes, Hello World, and then close bracket. To run the program again, we could use the play button, or we could go to the run menu and then click on run main. And then we'll get the text Hello World in the bottom window here. We could purposely introduce an error into our program by deleting this bracket. And then if we run the program, we'll get a syntax error output in the bottom window. So this is where errors will show up when writing our Python programs. And this is how we can set up a Python development environment on Windows using PyCharm. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.